welcome back to our actually final chapter of Renaissance Parenting for the year. And to do that, I think we need to sort of recap some things we talked about already. Um, Renaissance Parenting, as you know, it's that conscious awareness of self so that you can be more effective as a parent. But it's also that hopeful sense that we all have to ensure our successful parenting experiences. It's a path. It's a path, a journey to become that conscious and enlightened person. So let's talk about the first step we take. With that first step, does anybody remember? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, silence. The sound of silence, and especially in nature. But seeking that, you know, the journey the one needs to travel to find those special places in nature where we can turn off the world and tune into the sound of silence of nature. And creating stillness, that's our second step in that direction towards consciousness. Those sacred spaces in our homes or maybe somewhere else, but a place we can be still and really make a sacred place for ourselves to reflect, meditate, and maybe pray. Whatever you need to find a sense of enlightenment in your day. Something we haven't talked about yet, simplicity. A choice. What are your needs and what are your wants? Hmm. Just because you want something, is it something you really need? Guess what? If it doesn't have meaning in your life, I mean true meaning and value, then you probably don't need it. People are more important than things. Don't forget that. What's the last step? Save the best to last. Welcome structure in your lives. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it? Welcome structure? Yes. The wonder of routine and the blessing of family ritual. What a great way to start our summer. Oh, you thought summer was going to be a time you're going to lay back? Well, you can still do that. But don't forget about the importance of routine and how it solidifies your family. You need it. They need it. It's what creates your community and your home. I had a parent ask me the other day, in her desperation, school's out, now what? What am I going to do? We haven't decided to do summer program. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, that was open-ended. I responded, wow, how am I going to respond? And then went on to tell her, how about having a family meeting? Start that way. And everybody talk about the plan for the summer. Because as a family, to bring structure to your life, everyone needs to have a voice. So don't forget, welcome structure. It is a blessing in your life. Have a great summer, and we'll see you in the fall.